wiser as an educated advisor. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator. On today's show, the infinite banking concept, part three in our series on Your Family Bank with Paul Bechtel. Let's get down to business. Well, welcome to segment three, Paul. Hi, Steve. How's it going today? Well, today, uh, well, it's going great because uh, I just, you know, our last two segments are getting America out of debt. There's Listen, if our government is not the good role model here, okay? Let's just face it. The government's not a very good role model in getting out of debt. But we can do that as consumers, as taxpayers. And the concept, you said this earlier, if you missed our first couple segments, you need to go back out and watch it in succession. I think your tutorial will be a lot easier. Your educational uh, learning curve will be better. You, you were talking about infinite banking at the first segment saying, this thing has been around for 100 years. We didn't just invent this in the last decade. Talk a little bit about this is infinite banking, the concept, and then how did we morph into this thing called your family bank? Well, Steve, that's very interesting. And uh, I have done a lot of research on infinite banking. There's another uh, book out called um, Bank on Yourself by Pamela Yellen. Uh, two very popular concepts right now. You're starting to hear it on talk radio, conservative talk radio, for example. Uh, people are looking for alternatives to the usual qualified plans where they tie their money up, they put it at risk. They, uh, I say put it, their money on a one-way street where it's tied up to 59 and a half and it doesn't mm -hmm. come back to them till then. So people are learning that there's other places that they can put their money. They can uh, create their own banking concept. And so the Your Family Bank program was predicated off of the infinite banking platform, okay? Infinite banking and bank on yourself are, uh, are a broad concept that teaches people how to lever their money up uh, for their own personal use, mm -hmm. how to create generational interest, generational wealth as they go along, and how to uh, eliminate not only debt going or interest going away from them, but how to generate their own interest that they keep for themselves. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your Family Bank specifically addresses how to eliminate debt with it first, though. Okay, so it's really kind of a two-stage process that we engage clients in in your family bank process, which is first, let's look at your debt and let's get the interest that's going away from you shortened up and, and bring that back to you. And then let's show you how to build some generational wealth and to expand that concept more for much greater wealth generation in the future now, and how to borrow from can yourself. I, ask you about that? I just want to make sure we have to bifurcate this a little bit. We're talking about credit card debt, right? Correct. We're talking about student loan debt. Correct. We're talking about mortgage debt. We're talking about in, any interest-bearing debt. So any interest-bearing debt. So I noticed, we just as we were closing our last segment, we talked about, hey, you could be out of short-term debt in three years. In your typical client that you've been showing this, your family bank, what is the all-in? Hey, I had student loan debt. I had mortgage debt. What do you think I'm looking at? I'm looking at about a decade, and I'm out of all three short-term student loan debt mortgage well, the average person we meet, uh, by far, most of them have a 30-year mortgage, okay? And uh, most of the time, that 30-year mortgage will, will dictate how long you're going to be in debt in total before you're 100% totally debt-free, mm -hmm. okay? So you're usually looking at a mortgage. You're lo usually looking at credit card debt, um, you know, three to four or five credit cards, an auto loan, uh, maybe a student loan or something like that as well, okay? So the average person we have out of debt in nine years or less. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what, what, what we're going to do, and this is all your family bank really does mm -hmm. is we create the same thing that Dave Ramsey does in terms of a debt snowball. We take our largest debt and we stack it up in mm -hmm. order to the smallest debt on top. Okay. And we create a contract that's going to grow in cash value over time. And when there's enough cash in that contract to take a loan out and eliminate that first debt, we take a loan, eliminate that debt, and then we go to debt number two and number three. We just lather, rinse, and repeat down mm -hmm. through the debt pile until they're all done. The last and the biggest debt being the one that dictates the total debt cycle. What we see on average, though, is that other than that last largest debt, that student loan or that mortgage, almost all the other short-term debt like credit cards, auto loans, and all mm -hmm. that is usually gone in two to three years, okay? And we've also usually freed up enough cash flow of those debt payments that were going away from us that now is equal to or greater than the money that we're putting in the contract. So at that point, it kind of becomes a no-brainer, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So 
Here's the biggest problem we have with, with the average American doesn't realize. Not only do you have a problem of money going away from you that's not you're not able to use in your economy, you're not making any interest off that money that's going away from you. Somebody else mm -hmm. is, right? So what we want to do is re-educate the consumer to, to how they can make interest off that money that's going away mm -hmm. from them and how to shorten up that amount, the, the time that that mm -hmm. interest is going away from them as well. Now, this looks like magic to the consumer, but it's really math, yeah. right? I mean, it's true math and logic. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, because we have advisors watching the show today, and they're saying, yeah, you know, I do, um, I do a lot of community pay-it-forward seminars at about a third to 40% of my audience has no assets under management. They have nothing for me to invest in. So it doesn't really, everybody, I'm already discounting almost half my audience as far as possible clients. But in your scenario, you have a way now to help everyone in that room. And especially the 30 to 40% of Americans who go to those kind of seminars for education and eliminate debt. And finally, the advisor and or insurance agent gets paid. That's correct. I mean, uh, we have the largest market available, and it's, it's those with that, and we can help not only those people get in a much better position and make money along the way, but what you're going to do is when I free that client's money up and I no longer have that debt going away, I now have a second sales opportunity in the future because now I have the ability to now focus on that other side of the equation, which is growing the assets, mm -hmm. right? The, the debt side of the equation is now gone. I now have the ability to grow the asset side of the mm -hmm. equation, and I can do that in a similar safe money type of strategy that might involve an index universal life, that might involve a strategy with some annuities, that might involve other safe money type of strategies um, where we don't have to put the mm -hmm. client at risk, we don't have to bring taxes into play, we can minimize the fees mm -hmm. and commissions and keep more money in their pocket as well. When I'm looking at the basic issues here, you have certain things that are somewhat proprietary to the way you explain things. I mean. You have, you're, I, 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 I probably have written a tutorial and a basic concept on why you have specific proprietary things that you use with Gordon Marketing. Yes, I mean, we have developed uh, a lot of tools. Uh, it's been a great synergy with Gordon Marketing, uh, and particularly my partnership with Randy Pearson, Vice President of Life and Annuity Sales. Mm -hmm. We have developed a lot of proprietary tools things to help educate the client, things to help educate the agent mm -hmm. as well, and help get to the close much quicker, mm -hmm. okay? So what we really want to focus on is, the, again, the, the, the why, not the how. If I could show mm -hmm. you how to get out of debt in seven, eight years versus mm -hmm. being in debt 30 years, do you really care what vehicle we're using? Well, maybe the client doesn't care about the mechanics, but what about the, uh, an advisor? If he's never seen anything or heard anything like this before, and he's hearing this for the first time, what's the learning curve for him to adopt this kind of concept? Invariably, Steve, it's really, it's really funny that you say that because uh, the first thing that the agent and the advisor wants to get into is the mechanics of the product, okay? Mm -hmm. And we have to kind of do uh, uh, you know, a debriefing of them to say, this is a concept sale. We, mm -hmm. we are selling the concept of being debt-free. We're not focusing mm -hmm. on what the vehicle it is we use to get there. Now, the vehicle just happens to be something that falls in the wheelhouse of your licensing and, mm -hmm. and your expertise, right? But we don't focus on that with mm -hmm. the client. We focus on the step-by-step -step guarantees mm -hmm. and, and what, the, what the software and the report tells us as far as the outcome and then let the client come to their mm -hmm. own conclusion that, yeah, that I want to be a part of that. I want to be out of debt in seven years. How important is it for an advisor, an insurance agent, to actually understand a data collector in this regard? Super important. And in what we do is, what, with the new agent that comes in, we really focus on how to not leave money on the table, how to maximize the sale, how to, where to find the money at, how to uh, get that person out of debt in the most efficient manner. Um, <clears throat> one of the things we've done through Gordon Marketing for the agent is we developed a proprietary quick start program, for example, where that agent can step in, they can pair up with a veteran mm -hmm. agent, and they can go out and they can, they can share cases for the first four, five, mm -hmm. six cases until that new agent understands how it works. It takes a very short period of time mm -hmm. for them to come up to speed and to understand how it is that we maximize that sale. If they want to get in touch with you, email address? My email address, paulgordonmarketing.com, or they're welcome to call me directly. We do regular, we do webinars in which we put my phone number out there. They can call me directly and call Randy Pearson as well. Mm -hmm. 
um, or Pearson at GordonMarketing.com as well. Okay, well, don't forget to watch our next segment on the education process of banking, part four in our series on Your Family Bank. And keep in mind, before moving forward with any of the ideas on our show, always check with your tax consultant, legal counsel, or your compliance officer. And don't forget, you can subscribe to my consumer show, Steve Savant's Money, The Name of the Game, daily content that you can post on your website, social media accounts, and database distribution. I'm Steve Savant. Thanks for watching.